Hello, my name is Mo Khan. I am an engineer on the composition analysis team here at GitLab. And today I want to talk to you about the open source software review toolkit and how to use it uh, to integrate into the license scanning job. So as you may or may not know, the license scanning job can be included by adding this particular template, the security slash license scanning .gitlab cityaml And what that does is it adds a job with the name uh, license scanning. Now, when the license scanning job runs, it does its best to detect your project type, uh, install any packages that are related to uh, package managers that might be used in your project, and then from there determine the software licenses associated with any dependencies that are in your project. So today, uh, I want to show you how you can replace the default license scanning job with the OSS uh, Review Toolkit, or also known as ORP. So, to get started, uh, like once you've got the default include in your project, you can override the license scanning job by redefining it. So here's an example. If you include the default template, license scanning.gitlab-ci.yaml, uh, you can override the template by specifying your own Docker image. So in this case, I'm pointing this to a Docker image, which is built from the Docker file that's hosted right in the ORT uh, project. So if we go back to the ORT project, we can see in the code they uh, provide a Docker file. So we can actually use that Docker file for generating a, a Docker image that we can use for providing uh, a scan from the ORT uh, project. So once I've got that image, uh, the next thing I can do is override the script block. Now this part's important because the default script block that ships with the license scanning job uh, won't work with ORT out of the box. but as you can see, these two lines aren't that difficult to uh, drop in. I'll just go over what they actually mean. So in the first line here, where we're saying ORT analyze, what this is doing is it's instructing the ORT uh, command line interface to analyze the current project directory. So when the GitLab runner runs, it typically drops the source code into a project uh, directory, something under slash builds, and then exports an environment variable uh, called CI projector. So here we're instructing ORT to go ahead and analyze this directory. Uh, so we're saying the input is this project directory. In the output, you can place the results also in that directory. Um, in that directory, at the end of that step is an analyzer result.yaml. So you can see on the second phase here, we're actually including the analyzer result.yaml as the input, and the output is again the same project directory. Uh, the format of this report is the GitLab license model. So you can see that there's no additional plugins or extensions necessary to generate a GitLab license scanning report. Uh, the folks over at uh, the ORT project were kind enough to include this right in the core project themselves. So this will actually generate a license scanning uh, report that can be uploaded directly to GitLab. So once that's in place um, and you've committed that to your project, uh, you can actually see it in the uh, uh, the, the product of that change in your merge request. So here's an example repo with the changes already applied, and you can see in the most recent pipeline has already been completed. So if I jump into that pipeline, we can see the license scanning job. I'll just take a look at the job output. And at the very top, if we start from the very top, you'll see that uh, for the license scanning job, scanning job, pardon me, it pulled the ORT image. Uh, after that was downloaded, it started to do the analysis step using ORT, you can see ORT's banner pop up, uh, and then it exported the analysis report into a GitLab license uh, scanning report. And at the very end here, we upload the GL license scanning report.json. And for the most part, this is the integration into uh, the website for being able to visualize this data. So if we go to the pipeline view now, we'll be able to see that the licenses tab is actually filled out. And this data is for the most part sourced from the report that was produced by ORT. So to rewind, uh, in order to override the default license scanning job today that GitLab provides with ORT, uh, it's just a few lines of code, additional code that needs to be added to your GitLab CI YAML file. And uh, that's it. That's the integration. So I hope that uh, clarifies how to use ORT to replace the default license scanning report. Um, and let me see. Oh, there's one last thing. The interesting thing about this is that you can, you're free to host this Docker image wherever you like. So if you prefer to actually trim down that Docker file or repurpose it by uh, only including dependencies that are related to your organization or project, you're welcome to build and host that container wherever or image wherever you like. And uh, you can use that in the scan report. 
And because of the built-in integration right into ORT itself, uh, exporting a GitLab license model report is just as easy as dash F GitLab license model. And that's all for today. Thanks.